Hey, poker people. What has two thumbs and loves game tape? <gasps> this guy for sure. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up OBS or open broadcaster software in order to record game tape. Now, game tape is the number one play technique and study technique to help you improve your games. Let's roll. Alrighty, so once you download, install, and open up OBS, this is what you're going to see. Uh, actually, your screen up here will be blank. You won't actually see anything because you have not set up any scenes nor sources just yet. Now, what a scene is, it's what your recorded video is going to end up looking like. And the sources are the different parts that make up the video. So currently, under training video scene, I have my Logitech camera and my screen capture or display capture right here. But let me show you how to do a little game tape capture, which is probably the simplest setup and that's all you're going to need if you're just recording this for yourself so hit the plus button uh, give your scene a name game tape now bam your scene is blank it's not recording everything anything if you just recorded right now play it back blank screen you'll probably hear your audio though as you can see the little audio uh, things recording what I'm saying right now but let's do uh, set up a scene right here you're going to simply do display capture Display Capture 3 is just fine, unless you want to give it your own name. Now, it automatically went to my display number 1, which is my laptop. But I want the monitor to be recorded. And then, bam, there it is. Now, uh, if you look at the video that you're watching right now, I do not have my taskbar within the video, right? It's actually off screen. The way you do that, oh, hit OK. The way you do that is just click and then drag it down just a tiny bit to get that off screen if you don't want it there. If you want it to have the date and time in your recording, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. But because I record, um, uh, because I don't need that kind of stuff, it timestamps the videos automatically with the date and everything. And eh, it's just not necessary. So this is what it looks like if you start recording and then playing through your session. This is what you're going to see right now. But let's make sure your settings are all right for your computer. Now, when it comes to settings, uh, the first thing you're going to see is the general tab. And the only thing I do on this tab is select my theme. I think when you start it, you're going to get the default gray and white theme. Too bright. Let's go dark for sure. Love the dark. Um, skip the stream because we're just doing video recordings, not streaming. You're going you're gonna to go to output and then recording. Now, output mode, select advanced. Type is standard, not that custom output. Now, your recording path is where your videos are going to be sent to once you're done recording. So let's make a new folder on our desktop. We'll simply call it OBS. And then this is the current one that I have it going to, but you'll simply hit Browse. And like anything else, just find that folder. Bam, there it is. Hit Select Folder, and everything will be saved to this folder now. Uh, recording Format. I choose MP4, but if you want a different format, go ahead. Audio track, only do one. Encoder, the X264 is the one I choose. Um, I don't know that there's any difference. If you have a very good graphics card, I think that will end up being a choice here. But I just go with the X264, does good. Uh, rescale output, do not select this. We'll do some more stuff with the video settings in just a little bit on a different tab. Now, we go down to rate control. I choose CBR. I've heard VBR is good, but I have no idea what any of these stand for. Um, I'm just going with what I first had it on, you know. Uh, bit rate at 3500. So I guess this is the speed at which your computer records your screen. And the better your computer is, the higher you can have the bit rate. I have mine at 3500, and it seems to give pretty decently crisp pictures. Um, no, no. CPU usage, very fast. The better your computer, you can go up to ultra fast. The slower your computer, you might have to go somewhere down here. But I choose very fast. So I don't get any kind of lag, no computer issues at all with that. Profile is high. Turn or tune, don't know what that is, but I just keep it at none. It gives you these different types, but I've never tr tested them out. So that's it for this tab right here. Next, let's go to audio. Now these are just simply your audio settings. The sample rate, 44.1, go with that. Channels, stereo, if you have some kind of crazy nice setup, I guess you can do one of those. I just do the stereo. The desktop audio device is what you normally listen uh, or what you normally listen to the sound from your computer with. So I use the Realtek high definition audio, but just go to the drop down and choose however you listen to it most of the time. If you use headphones or something, go ahead. Um, 
disable audio device two. Now the microphone or auxiliary device, you need at least one selected, um, probably whatever off the shelf better microphone as opposed to your uh, you know laptop computers built in microphone. I have an ATR 2500, so that's what I use right here. Uh, and then everything else disabled, fast sample peak, and then all of this stuff, I've never done anything with that. So we can just ignore it for now. Just keep it all to the defaults. Now for the video, base canvas resolution is the resolution of the monitor that you're working off of. Mine is a 1366 by 768, kind of an older monitor here. But if you don't know what your monitor's resolution is, you can simply go to bestfirms.com slash what is my screen resolution. And then bam, it will tell you right there. You'll enter that one in. Now your output is what the completed video um, what the rendered video will be sent out in. And I have mine sent out in 1280 by 720. If you have a better monitor, maybe a 1920 by 1080, then you can choose, you know, you would choose that up there. And then your output could be whatever you want it to be output at. Possibly also 1920 by 1080p right there for the most, for the sharpest, crispest, crispest picture, right? Now, downscale filter, go with the 32 samples. That's going to give you the best uh, video quality. Now, FPS is frames per second. If you have a slower computer, you might need 30. A faster one, go with the 60 right there. And if you start with 60 and the picture looks funky, you can go back and change a lot of these settings, of course, in order to figure out what works best for you. Uh, we're going to skip hot keys. Now, advanced, I simply go to above normal, direct 3D11, NV12 is the color format. Um, the U YUV color space is 709 and then full right there. Everything else, you can just copy what I have. If you had a stream or if you were streaming, this is where you would set your delay for your poker play. Um, but everything else is just base. I don't think I've changed anything. Your settings should be exactly the same as mine. Now you hit OK. And now we're ready to do a test recording. So let's imagine we have a couple tables open right here. And then once we start recording, we're going to record our gameplay. So you can see we're dealt pocket sevens with nine big blinds, uh, one min raise right there. We decide to shove, blah, blah, blah. I'm playing my hand. I'm talking through my decisions as, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing with game tape, speaking your decisions aloud. Little recording test right there. Let's say we're done. Now that we finished that recording test, bam, that file popped up in OBS. Double click it to open it up. There it is. And there it is. The recording seems nice and crisp. I like the quality right there. It's good. Now, if yours ended up, if the audio sounded crappy, if the video is too fuzzy, uh, whatever the case might be, then you have to go in and then change some of those settings that we went through earlier. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And of course, ding that bell for notifications of all future YouTube videos. Take care.